Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about my experiences swinging. Oh my god, someone asked me if I was into swinging or yeah, these liberal clubs and stuff and um, I thought I would share my experiences with that. Here in Barcelona I've been invited to many, many, many sex parties and and yeah, interesting things. And I'm definitely a voyeur, so I have um, some limited experience with experiences with being being in some swingers parties and sex parties and fetish parties in particular. Yeah, and I absolutely love, 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 love watching um, other people get up to no good. And I remember one time, yeah, so I've been to lots of swing, swingers clubs, and one time actually, the very first time I went to a swingers club, I went with a, a friend, a friend with benefits, and we ended up getting it on in this place in front of all these people, which I didn't, did not expect, because I was going just to watch. But then it ended up being something quite different. But for me, it's definitely not something I would do on a regular basis. I'm really glad that I've got, I've had ex the experience of going to a place like this, but it's definitely not something that um, turns me on in, at all. I think I'm, I'm too squeamish. I think about the hygiene, especially because, uh, let's say, I remember in one place where I was, that the lighting was amazing. Everyone looked great. So it was kind of a warm red light. A lot of people were naked and everyone looked pretty good, actually. But then I was thinking, you know, if you turn these lights up all of a sudden, what, what kind of stains would you see, you know? And I didn't really want to sit down. You don't, really know, you don't really know what you're sitting in. And don't get me started on the jacuzzi. That has just got to be so, so, so disgusting. So for me, I've got all of this maybe squeamish or just cringe stuff in my head, just too much of it to, to actually to be able to let go and, and have sex in a situation like that. Um, and also I think when I'm in a situation with sex parties or swingers, etc., it makes me, makes me feel like a real prude. Yeah, it makes, because I, um, because normally in my life as a sex toy tester, I'm usually the more outgoing one in a particular, in, in the groups that I'm in. Whereas if I go into that type of um, ambiance, I feel like, a, real a real prude and it makes me feel quite uncomfortable and that's really not the type of sexuality that I identify with or, or the type of sexuality that I want to promote personally I believe that sex is a sacred energetic exchange and I'm not really sure that I saw many sacred energetic exchanges happening in a swingers club however there is a time and a place for everything and when I did go I was I was so glad I did go, and I remember um, I, I went with the intention of just watching, and I ended up um, I end, and having one drink, just watching. Those are the typical, the best nights, aren't they? When you go out and you expect nothing, and I ended up being with the guy I was with, but in front of other people, which is a, a really big experience. But also, we ended up staying to the very end, so it was like six o'clock in the morning, and then I got a taxi home and it was dawn and I just couldn't sleep thinking of all of the things that I'd seen that night. It was a real eye-opener, but nothing else opening, definitely not. So yeah, so my, my advice would be if you want, if you're interested in going to a swingers party, well in my situation I was going with a friend so there were no emotional boundaries to discuss beforehand but if I was going with a partner I think it's really important to to discuss where the limits are and what you feel comfortable with or not so that, that's really really important so you've got some expectations also I think it's good to research the venues because also different venues have very different clients they're very different clients they have very there's different swinging venues have very different themes and different people going. So I think it's really interesting or very important to to research before because if you go to one place that might give you the wrong idea because I think every swingers party is unique. Anyway, if you're thinking about swinging, I hope this is helpful. Even though I'm not a swinging convert, I'm definitely glad that I've had the experience and that I know more or less what it's about and I've met a lot of people in the swinging community so yeah very interesting 
And if you're thinking about swinging, I think it's very important to talk about any limitations with your partner beforehand and to research where you're thinking of going. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you next time.